These are the four ways hackers can hack your Wi-Fi and how you can secure yourself against them. So let's start. Disclaimer. This video is a part of my digital security series designed to educate viewers to protect themselves by uncovering the techniques used by hackers to compromise Wi-Fi networks. The video does not demonstrate how to perform the actual hacks but rather discusses how they work. Black hat hacking is illegal and can get a person behind bars if they try to hack someone or something without permission. Threat number one, evil twin attack. Okay, so let's start by discussing one of the most common hacking strategies known as an evil twin attack. In this type of attack, hackers set up a fraudulent access point or you can say a fake Wi-Fi, which shares a similar name or SSID as the victim's legitimate Wi-Fi network. Once the fake access point is in place, hackers then employ a Wi-Fi adapter with packet injection capabilities to send deauthentication packets to the victim and force their device to disconnect from the real network. Once disconnected, the attack Hacker then keeps bombarding the victim's device with deauthentication packets in order to ensure that the device remains disconnected from the legitimate Wi-Fi, and waits for the victim to take the bait and manually try to reconnect to the fake Wi-Fi in order to restore their internet connection. When the victim falls into this trap and connects to the fake Wi-Fi, they're greeted with a crafty webpage, which normally is something like a firmware upgrade webpage that tricks the victim into believing that their router has undergone an update and they must provide their Wi-Fi password in order to restore their internet connection. Once the victim enters their Wi-Fi password into this webpage, it is sent to the attacker and their Wi-Fi is compromise, similar to how phishing pages are used to compromise online accounts. Now this was just a quick overview of how an evil twin attack is done, but depending upon the capabilities of a hacker, they might get creative with these kind of attacks such as increasing the signal strength of their fake access point to make it more convincing, or continuously sending the deauthentication packets until the user provides them with a correct password rather than just typing in random words. So how can you protect yourself against such attacks? Well most modern routers and devices are designed to handle such disruptions and quickly recover from disconnections, but if you're still caught in a situation where where an attacker is continuously sending deauthentication packets and you're unable to connect to your legitimate Wi-Fi without giving up your password, it's good to wait until the deauthentication packets have stopped and figure out who is sending them in the meantime. Maybe consider checking with your neighbors or looking for any suspicious vans parked nearby. Also never end up giving up your Wi-Fi's password to the attacker, as once inside, they can do much more than you can imagine. Threat number two, cracking Wi-Fi password. Now another way that a hacker might gain access to your network is through cracking the password of your Wi-Fi, and here's how they can do it. So basically when a device connects to a Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network, there's a behind-the-scenes process occurring, called a handshake, during which the password is exchanged between the device and the Wi-Fi network. A hacker can capture this handshake using different methods, but once they do, what they obtain is not the actual password but an encrypted form of the password, called a hash, and this is where the concept of password cracking comes into play. Now if you're interested in learning about how a hacker cracks a password in detail, you can check out this video, but depending upon the wireless security protocol of the network being used, this process can take time, and might not be successful if the password is strong and not common. This is essentially why it's important to have a strong and unique password. Threat number three, cracking the WPS pin. If a hacker is unable to crack the password of a Wi-Fi network, they might also attempt to crack the Wi-Fi protected setup or the WPS pin. But what exactly is it? Well many Wi-Fi access points are equipped with a button that allows users to press it, or enter a short code to quickly connect to a Wi-Fi network, without having to type in a long password manually. This pin is relatively simple as it consists of just 8 digits, with one digit being a checksum and leaving only 7 digits behind. This results in a total of 10 million possible combinations, and a single CPU can usually exhaust these possibilities in a matter of a few days successfully. So how can you protect yourself? Well the solution is simple. If WPS is already enabled, disable it from your router settings by opening a web browser on a device connected to the Wi-Fi and entering your router's IP address into the address bar. Number 4, Other Threats Now if cracking the password in an evil twin attack is unsuccessful, a hacker might take several more approaches especially if they are motivated. These approaches might include trying to access your Wi-Fi router physically and trying multiple things from there, or combining other social engineering tactics such as sending phishing emails pretending to be your internet service provider, so it's important to stay vigilant and look out for such attacks. Anyway guys this is it for the video, if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below and I'll see you in the next one.